What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back and it's the start of season 3 today and you guys see my new quarterback for this season is going to be Matt Ryan so we're going to be rocking those Falcons unis but in the first game I still will be using the Colts unis but I changed it from there on out. He's got some pretty nasty stats, 93 throw power, 94 throw accuracy short, and 91 throw accuracy medium. I was blown away by how good his stats were, and I'm excited to use him at quarterback this season. You guys already know, we got to Marco Murray as our running back, but if you would like me to go out and get BCA Arian Foster or BCA Doug Martin, try them out and get a new face at running back, just let me know down below because I will go ahead and do that. My wide receiving core is a little weak. Because I sold Reggie Wayne, he was the star of the wide receiving core. But we still got Mike Evans, Dwayne Bow, Roddy White. These cards will get the job done. Don't you worry about that. And also, at tight ends, I went out and got rising stars, Jason Morrow. I'm letting you guys know right now, for 8K, go get yourself this man. He is a great tight end. I love using this card, and you're going to see him a lot throughout this season. Next, we look at my offensive line. Still the same, except that I have this Carl Nix. For some reason, the price has dropped on all the cards, and I got him for 8K. Yes, 8K. I'm doing the Buccaneer set right now, and I just need a couple more cards, and I will have that complete, because you guys already know I'm on the Master Grind, and I'm going to get it done in a month or two. I will have that done for you guys. Now we move on to my defense. Let's get a quick look at it. We got Charles Tillman. Jadavion Clowney. I actually heard that his name is actually pronounced Jadavion Clowney. I don't know if that's true or not. But we got big Vince Wilfork in the middle to stop the run. And I got a Greg Hardy for 17k. I wasn't even really looking to pick him up. But for 17k, I will take it. And we also have Chris Harris Jr. This card has been pretty good so far. Let's get a quick look at his stats. 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 92 agility, and 93 man coverage. Pretty good card, but now we look at my linebacking core. I will have a Thomas Davis there for the first couple of games, but I did lose him in a wager, so you guys won't be seeing him. And I also did have a Geno Atkins, but I think I went ahead and sold that card but I will have somebody replacing him soon. But we're going to get a quick look at Levante David. I got him for 25 k These prices were out of this world the other day. 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 98 tackling, 98 pursuit. Not a bad card. And you guys already know LeBron Landry is back there. And we still have Aaron Williams. I'm looking to make an upgrade some point in the season for those cards. But that's going to be it for this lineup update. I will see you guys in the gameplay. So here we go guys, start of a new season, Matt Ryan at the helm as our quarterback. Will he be able to lead us to a Super Bowl and finally win it? He is our third quarterback. So we're throwing it to DeMarco Murray on third down and two and he's going to get the first down. Like I said in, earlier in the video, I just want to let you guys know once again, I will be changing my uniforms from every game on. Um, I did have the Colts uniforms on for the first game, and I'm like, wait, let's get these Falcons uniforms for Matt Ryan, so we're going to have those for the rest of the season. So we're moving down the field pretty well. We're going to hit Jared Cook on a wheel route. He's going to get a first down. We've got a second down and nine, and great catch in traffic by Roddy White. I'm telling you guys, go get yourself a Roddy White if you're looking for a budget-wide receiver. He is very, very good. So we're in the shotgun once again, and we hit Roddy White for a touchdown. So my opponent is on offense. He's got his back against the wall. Third down and five. Throws it over the middle. He's able to get the completion. And we tackle him down with Ladarius Webb. You guys already know I gave away that Ladarius Webb. So you won't be seeing him in any other games except for these first two games. My opponent moving down the field pretty well. On third down and ten, we decide to send a blitz. We're able to get through the line. and We're able to sack him. And he's went ahead and went hurry up offense. He's got a fourth down and 20. Will he be able to convert? We're in some man defense, not trying to give up any big plays. He's dropping back, looking, lobs it up deep to his wide receiver, and we're able to bat that one down, and we're going to get the ball back on offense. But right after that happens, he paused the game, and you guys already know what's about to happen. He goes ahead and quits. So I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging with a four minute gameplay, I decided to go ahead and put game number two in it. In our first play on offense, DeMarco Murray is loose, one man to beat, and he's going to get brought down from behind. 
We're in the shotgun. We've got Doug Martin behind us. He gets his first handoff on our team, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a touchdown. My opponent on offense, he starts under center. He's got a second down and six. He goes with the play action. He throws a nice pass. He makes a man miss. He's down the sidelines, and we bring him down at the 49. We've got him at the, he's at midfield, 114 left to go in the first quarter. He sends a man in motion, we're in some zone D once again. He's going to go ahead and make a couple audibles, he's dropping back, looking, throws it over the middle, he makes another man miss, and he's down to the 18 yard line with the first down and goal. First down and goal, he's going to hand this one off, and he keep, actually he keeps it with his quarterback, I got ahead of myself there. And he's going to get into the end zone. He's going to make it an 8-7 to seven game because he did get a two-point conversion. We start by hitting Roddy White over the middle. He's down the sidelines and gets brought down at the 20-yard line. Not a bad way to start off for Matt Ryan in this game. We decide to go with the screen pass to Marco Murray. Makes a man miss. One man to beat and gets brought down at the 2-yard line. But you guys already know we're going to hand it off to Anthony Sherman. And he's going to get a touchdown. So I decided I wanted to try to go for two. I did not get it. So we've got a 13 to eight game. 158 left to go in the second quarter. He's dropping back. Test the user. We tip it right to Brandon Browner. He's able to pick it up and he gets the interception and we're right back on offense once again. Great play by Brandon Browner. We're going with four verticals once again and we're gonna hit Roddy White. He was wide open. He's down the sidelines and gets brought down at the four yard line. Third down and goal. Matt Ryan dropping back, looking. We see why is open, and of course, it's Roddy White just adding to his stats. And you're going to see that I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this game because it did end up being an absolute blowout. I mean, after that first drive, this guy could just not get anything going. He couldn't stop my offense at all. He didn't use her the middle at all, so it was wide open all game. I was just abusing that. But. I'm really liking how these Falcons uniforms look. I like how the stadium looks. I'm excited to use this team. Matt Ryan seems good. Roddy White's going to be the number one target this year. As you guys can already see, I think he had three or four touchdowns this game. He had a very, very good game. But we're going to go ahead and walk away with the victory. We end up winning this game 47 to 15, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 47 to 15. So we start the season off 2 0, just the way we wanted to go ahead and start the season. But let me know down below, guys. Do you want me to go and get a different running back, or do you want me to keep using DeMarco Murray? I will go get a different running back. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. Go follow me on Twitter at MakeItWayne, and until next time guys, have a good one.